guys in this video we are going to learn how to generate full structural drawing of any building in the star pro connect edition that is the new version of it so after setting the basic uh, requirement of the star pro that is the job name client who is the client what is the date of recording these things you can also set uh, at the time of report generation or at the last choose the unit and uh, gets let get started so you can generate node one by one but uh, this is a very lengthy process so delete all the nodes and the simplest way of generating node is the in the structural wizard so after deleting uh, go to the structure wizard in the geometry section and choose what type of model you are going to generate that is our uh, model is the building that is the frame model so choose the frame model and uh, in the frame model choose the bay frame that is the uh, or the distance between center to center uh, of the column is called generally called bay and give the length width and the height of the bay so give as per your uh, requirement in this video we are just going to see the basics of the stat pro uh, with the basic idea how we can generate the building uh, a structural drawing, reinforcement detailing, detailing of the reinforcement etc etc so after setting it uh, just click apply here is the line diagram of your model and uh, you can insert it in, in the uh, start pro by the two ways just uh, cancel it and uh, it will uh, ask you automatically to insert in the start pro model so just click yes and uh, here the property we have to define the property of the column and the beam that is uh, the uh, depth and the sorry width of the beam so click the depth and the width and add it and directly add it and for the beam both will be the same so add it and click one of the following and select all the column to select all the column just go to the select section and uh, click parallel to uh, y so all the columns will be selected and uh, just click assign to the selected beam and click yes so it will be assigned to the selected beam and to add the beam uh, beam definition just uh, select and uh, add to the selected beam in the same way you can add it material you can select as the concrete because it is our concrete material and a specification nothing need to be changed so leave it as it is and for the support we need to create a fixed support so add on the fixed support and add go to the view section click on the side view and select all the lower nodes and click to the sorry click to the assign to the selected node and click yes the fixed beam will be assigned in the 3d you can see it and go to the load definition just add two load that is the dead load and live load as per your requirement you can select all the many kinds of load and click on the dead load and minus one represent the load is acting in the downward direction y and click on live load we are going to apply just one load because it is our learning video so just click member load and click the concentrated force and give the magnitude with negative sign because the load will act in the downward direction and the gy will be selected because y is our up and down direction click on the dead load and uh, assign to the view because dead load will be acted on whole the structure click on the live load and select all the beam and uh, assign to the selected beam it will be selected uh, assigned and go to the analyze you can also create the envelope because uh, in sorry envelope and the earthquake definition etc etc here it will not be needed so just leave it uh, and uh, go to the analyze we have to define the command so just click no print and uh, click and analyze it there will be a uh, warning so this time we need not uh, focus on warnings warning will be learned in the next video so just click rcdc and here 
the name and the IS code will be represented to you um, in India. IS456 and IS13920 will be used. You can check on the Google IS13920 is for the ductile detailing of the reinforced rate structure. So just check it on the Google uh, and uh, just uh, select beam. Sorry, uh, in this video we are going to uh, generate the detailing of the column so select just column and create a new project the project will be created automatically and it will be loading now so here you can see all the column placement in our drawing uh, the name of the column is represented as c and the numbering as c1 c2 c3 and so on so here we have to change few settings in the reinforcement just go to setting and uh, select one by one design setting it will be as it is because it is default for all the structure if it will be the steel structure then you can select ductile design because the steel structure is ductile structure so just uh, leave it as it is go to the next the reinforcement setting it is the main setting of the RCDC that is you have to select the size and the numbers and type of stirrup up for the reinforcement. If you select more size of reinforcement then uh, RCDC will introduce many type of reinforcement which is not possible to bring on site or it will be difficult to make BBS or the bar bending schedule for many kind of reinforcement. So just select two or three reinforcement type. Size of reinforcement will be selected and check the stirrup type what kind of stirrup or lateral ties, ties you are going to uh, use on the structure yeah, and just click ok here one problem will be appear because we have selected 40mm and 40mm reinforcement is not selected so just edit and click ok go to the say, load setting and click on uh, all type of load you have analyzed in the stat group click ok and as per is456 just multiply by 1.5 for the regular structures and just click ok and uh, now you can click on auto design the design will be created automatically it will take few time as per your uh, uh, heaviness of model here all the green mark is appeared just for c2 column the size uh, and the reinforcement is different due to some loads and all the in all other columns the bar size is same because the load is uniform all over the structure so just go to detail drawing and uh, click uh, for what column you are going to select so here all the uh, columns are same so just click two or three for the checking and click ok here the here you can see the detail drawing of all the columns from and next we have to check the elevation in this uh, you can also generate uh, the quantity and the price of the material used it will be uh, it will we, we can see in the next video so just check the elevation of all the columns here so in this way and uh, the detailed structural drawing will be created in a stad pro and uh, cdc And now we can save it uh, in our PC. So now we can check uh, our extra, sorry our drawing is saved or not. So double click on it. It will be saved in the drawing format. And uh, the drawing format in our previous video you can check it on our channel that how to convert DWG file in the PDF file very accurately. So all the layer will be created just click ctrl p and select uh, the method we used in the previous video that how to convert dwg file to the pdf file and the pdf will be generated so in this way the structural drawing is created in our next video we will see the detailing of the foundation for foundation uh, wait for the next video because this video is going to be lengthy so thank you guys and stay connected for the foundation video thank you